Okay, now we're going to create the middle section of our boombox, um, which will hold our phone and project the sound. The first thing that you want to do is create another 2D sketch. So come up and click on this button here and start 2D sketch. You then want to select the big uh, face here. You can select any face when you create a 2D sketch, but we want to select this one here. Now it's important for us to know which one of these is our 140 wide and which one is 150 wide so we want to turn this around the right way we're going to do that just by dimensioning um, your box to start off with so hit the dimension button and just click on a line and we can automatically see that this is 140 now you can't create that dimension because it's already there but what we do know is that we want to turn the whole thing around so I'm just going to come and I'm going to click just uh, hover above here and click on this arrow here which will turn the whole thing around sideways. We know that that's the bottom and now it's 150 wide. Again I could click on dimension just to check and click on a line like that. Okay. Again it will give me a fault to say that I can't do that. So click OK and there we are. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a rectangle um, and if you hover over the bottom left hand corner you should be able to select that bottom corner and then let go, so click and let go. So we've got ourselves a rectangle tool here. And then come up and attach it to this line. Now before you click, uh, when you're over the line, you can see that it says 140 there. You want to press tab so that it goes to this next dimension. And you want to put in 100, OK? 100. Zero, zero. And there we have a rectangle that is now um, the right height for our middle layer. The second thing that you want to do, again, is you want a two-point rectangle there. And I am going to create the uh, kind of drop-down area that will hold our phone. Okay, now my phone um, is 70 millimeters wide, so um, or just short of it. So I'm going to create a kind of rectangle that's 70 millimeters wide to hold it. Okay, and so that's 7, 0. And then I'm going to press tab. I'm going to make it 10 millimeters deep. OK, like that. All right, and that's going to hold my phone in the right place. Now, I can zoom into this using the wheel on my mouse, OK, to have a little look at it. And I want this to be in the middle. I know that if this is 150 wide and this is 70, then you, I know that this, to be in the middle, for the dimension from here to here, needs to be 35. OK, so I'm going to use that. I'm not sure if you saw that. I'll press Escape so you can just see that again. Click on Dimension. Click on this line and then click on the side line here, okay, and then hover above and click up here, all right? Um, and that will give you the dimension. Now you can change that. For me, it's 35 millimeters, okay? Um, I can check that by dimensioning between here and here, okay? So if I make sure dimension is highlighted, click on that line. It thinks I'm doing the height until you click on this line here and come above. Again, that's 35. It's exactly the same as on this side. Okay, um, so you can see that we've got both those dimensions right. Okay, the next thing for us to do is to create the circle that will go in the middle. So I'm going to create a circle now. Sometimes when you hover roughly in the middle, you see that line appear there. That shows we're in the middle of the whole square. Okay, so I'm going to click now, um, and I'm going to put this circle to 54 millimeters that's how wide our tool is that makes the circle okay so that's 54 millimeters wide all right that was by using the circle tool there okay and i clicked once tapped in 54 and then pressed enter the next thing i want to do is dimension that um, from the bottom the center of a circle i want to be 45 millimeters away from the bottom so i'm going to click on my dimension tool click on the bottom line there, it thinks I'm doing 140 until I click on the center of the circle once, and then I'm going to come out to the side here so that my dimension's out the way and tap in 40. Okay, now I know it's in the middle already because I hovered over that and made sure it was in the middle beforehand. Next, I want to create a channel from the top area down. Okay, so I'm going to click on the line. Uh, actually, it's probably first worth dimensioning. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to put a, a point here along this line here. Okay, now my speaker on my phone starts 
at roughly 12 millimeters in from the side. Okay, so I've put a point there on that bottom line. Um, uh, now I'm going to click on the dimension tool. I'm going to click on this line here and then I'm going to click on that point and I'm going to change that to 12 millimeters exactly. Now I can create a rectangle and lock onto that point there. See how it locks on? I'm going to click on that point and I'm going to just bring my rectangle down. So I click once and I'm bringing it down. And I want the whole channel to be 12, let's say 12 millimeters wide. Okay, so I'm going to make sure the width dimension, you can see it there going up and down, is 12 millimeters. I'll make sure I completely cover the circle, tap in 12, okay, and as long as it's all covered and uh, the bottom of that rectangle is inside the circle, I can press enter, all right, and that's there. Now, I need to trim this whole rectangle um, so that we can extrude it properly, okay, so I'm going to come up to the trim tool and I'm going to trim it here. Don't need this section. Now, can you see the kind of warning it's given me here. I have to remove the dimension to perform the operation. So I'm going to click cancel. I'm going to, trim is still highlighted, so I'm going to press escape to get out of that tool. Okay, And then I'm going to right click on this 12 and I'm going to delete it. Okay, That's got rid of the dimension even though it's still 12 millimeters wide. Now when I go to trim it, I can trim that tool. Okay, And I can trim it here and here. And I also want to trim this little section here. Okay, so now we have this area which we can extrude. So I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to go to extrude. Now it hasn't guessed which area because I could extrude this part, this part, this part, or this part. Okay, I want to extrude this bit here. So you have to select it. As long as you used your dialog spots before, it will still be open. Okay, like that. And we want to select this area here. Okay, see how that's now taken that whole area up? It's guessed it wants to be 20 millimeters, same before. And it's important that you press this box, New Solid, and you click on that. If I don't, when I click OK, can you see there are no lines along here? It's a separate piece of wood, but it thinks it's all the same. That extrusion is here, so I'm going to go back and double click on this. And we'll brings you back to that place there where we were. I'm going to make sure I click on this box, which is called New Solid. Okay, click on that, and then click OK. And can you see now it's a separate piece of wood or material. Okay, and that original sketch that I had done is now inside that extrusion.